Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to the Texas Fly Fishing Report. It is Monday and it just happens to be June 20th, the summer solstice. So I appreciate you guys tuning in on this, the longest day of the year. It is a hot one here in North Texas. I'm on Lake Ray Roberts all by myself on the flats out here and it's a beautiful day to stalk carp although i heard that the the bow quote unquote hunters got in here and killed a bunch of carp over the weekend which is kind of what i'm looking for to do a story um, i don't see any evidence of them so i think the buzzards might have made quick work out of it unless i'm possibly in the wrong place anyway on to the report it like i said is the summer solstice the longest day of the year and I hate this day because that means the days get shorter after this and I love long sunny days. Across North Texas the rains finally stopped. We've got a lot of water in lakes like Ray Roberts and they have finally taken the pressure off downstream so that Ray Roberts can start releasing water. So over the last few days I had a guide trip last only three or four days ago here on the lake and believe it or not those water levels have already changed significantly from that three or four days so it looks like they're letting off maybe two inches a day or something like that it could be part partly evaporation i'm not sure but either way this lake level is dropping quick and that means the habitat is changing quickly too the fish were up in that habitat as soon as uh, it came on and the water came on top but now they're they're kind of a uh, looking for other places to go since the habitat's changing. And all this has implications for the rest of the state. As they drain water out of these lakes, of course your rivers and you river runners, you guys that fly fish on rivers, have that to look forward to. That means the blowouts all the way down river, places uh, and the lakes all have that fluctuation as this water works its way down to the coast. And then when you get to the coast, you got another situation where there's a lot of fresh water. I was out, on, out in the Galveston system about uh, almost two weeks ago now. And there was, so much, there was a foot, according to the locals, a foot of extra fresh water in the Galveston Bay system that day. So that gives you an idea of actually the kind of volume of water that's coming out of this state, uncaptured, unsaved, un unsalvaged and going straight to the coast. And that has multiple effects. It will, all, it will create a situation where there's enough brackish water coming on um, that we almost look like Florida, hopefully, and we start to see more residential tarpon more often. That's, it's part of the changes that we're going through as a, as a planet, I think, and I think that that is very possible that in the near future we'll have many more tarpon on the Texas coast to uh, target and that's just like a, a mainline drug to me anyway that's what's going on your lakes are full they're draining them your rivers are taking the brunt of all that water coming through and as far as little hot spots right now there might be one right here below Lake Ray Roberts with all the water coming out there's usually some action right there at the dam I uh, hear there's good action potentially at Denison Dam, which is right below Texoma. And I hear that um, a lot of the big stripers on Texoma have, have gone through the dam and are now downriver. That only fish being caught on Texoma proper are dink, basically dink striper. When, when I'm referring to the fish on Texoma, it's always striper. Um, although we might be able to develop some other other pursuits that's the main course there on Texoma anyway check your lake levels get back to me if you have any reports let me know how the fishing is in your area then I, I depend on you guys to tell me what's going on and I'm not hearing much I think everybody's fishing right now and it's summertime so have a great summer if you don't tune back in but if you do be sure that you subscribe to the YouTube channel or go to texasflycaster.com and um, you know keep your eye on the website I do a whole lot more writing than I do videos although I'm trying to get back to the video uh, uh, habit now and uh, you know at the end usually at the beginning of the end of these videos these reports if you stay tuned there's a little bit of fish porn on one side or the other of these things so make sure you stay tuned thanks for watching and we'll catch you real soon on the Texas Flycaster YouTube channel
Thanks for watching this episode of the Texas Fly Fishing Report. Thanks also goes out to the sponsors. If you need more information, be sure to visit www.texasflycaster.com. And if you have any information about fly fishing in Texas, feel free to share it, and we'll be glad to get it on the report.